The Philippines is in the midst of a massive infrastructure renaissance, with significant investments flowing into a slew of ambitious projects. Billions of dollars are being invested in transformative projects, such as the construction of new roads, bridges, airports, and other forms of infrastructure. This surge in infrastructure investment represents a watershed moment for the country, promising significant improvements in connectivity, transportation, and overall modernization. You are given a comprehensive view of the Philippines' sweeping transformation in this video, highlighting the country's top ongoing mega-projects. These initiatives represent a concerted effort to modernize the country's infrastructure in order to meet the burgeoning demands of the country's growing population and economic development. From groundbreaking transportation network projects to innovative urbanization ventures, each megaproject demonstrates the country's determination to modernize its infrastructure, fostering economic growth, and strengthening its position on the global stage. Starting with number 11. New International Airport in Manila The new Manila International Airport is the largest infrastructure project in the Philippines. A new international airport will be built in Bulacan. The airport will handle 100 million passengers per year. The airport will have four runways and be built on a 2,500-hectare site. It is expected to create up to 1.2 million construction jobs and 100,000 jobs once operational. The Dioterra is in charge of the airport's construction, while the BCDA is in charge of developing the surrounding area. The project will cost 740 billion Philippine pesos. Number 10. The Manila Metro Line 9 is an ambitious proposal that aims to revolutionize mass transportation in the bustling metropolis of Manila. This proposed 24-kilometer-long transportation artery will connect the bustling business district to Nea's Nino Aquino International Airport, catering to commuters and travelers alike. The planned line will include a network of 13 strategic stops strategically placed throughout the city to improve accessibility and connectivity. With a daily capacity of 1.2 million passengers, this transportation lifeline is envisioned as a critical solution to Manila's burgeoning transportation needs. The Metro Line 9 construction will be overseen by the Dioterra, emphasizing the dedication and expertise required for its development. Following completion, the LRMC will take over operations and maintenance, ensuring the smooth operation and dependability of this vital transportation link for Manila's residents and visitors. This initiative is a significant step toward improving urban mobility, streamlining commutes, and strengthening the city's transportation infrastructure in order to accommodate the city's growing population and economic activities. Number 9. The Clark Green City Rail is a game-changing project that will improve connectivity in the bustling region surrounding Malolos Clark Airport and Clark Green City in the Philippines. This railway network, which is envisioned as a critical link between these strategic locations, is expected to serve as a catalyst for regional economic expansion and improved accessibility. The rail will span 39 kilometers and include nine pivotal stops strategically placed to facilitate smooth and efficient travel between the airport and the bustling Clark Green City. This railway, which is expected to transport approximately 1 million passengers per day, will be a cornerstone of the region's transportation infrastructure, significantly improving commuting efficiency and connectivity within the area. Dio Terra is in charge of building the Clark Green City Rail, indicating their pivotal role in the development and execution of this vital transportation artery. Once operational, the Philippine National Railways PNR, will take over day-to-day -day operations and maintenance, ensuring the smooth and reliable operation of this vital transportation link. This initiative represents a significant step forward in improving transportation networks, fostering economic vitality, and facilitating convenient and quick travel between key regional hubs. Number 8. The Philippine National Railway's Long Haul Project is a massive undertaking aimed at modernizing and expanding the country's railway network. It is a multi-phased initiative aimed at improving both existing and new railway lines across the country. The primary goal is to improve transportation infrastructure by meticulously renovating and expanding it. The project's phased approach is intended to ensure a thorough overhaul, 
The focus will initially be on rehabilitating existing PNR lines, followed by the development of new routes, such as the North-South Commuter Railway and the Metro Manila Subway. The third phase focuses on improving critical existing lines, such as the PNR South and North lines, with an estimated cost of around $100 billion Philippine PISO, this project represents a significant investment in modernizing the nation's rail network, promising to improve passenger connectivity and efficiency while facilitating economic growth and development. Number 7. Bahal Lake Link Bridge The new Bahal Lake Link Bridge will connect the Bahal and Lake Islands. The bridge is expected to boost tourism and trade between the two islands. The bridge will be 2.1 kilometers long with a clearance of 50 meters. It will be capable of transporting up to 2,000 cars per hour. The project is overseen by the Department of Public Works and Highways, DPE. The bridge's construction is overseen by the DP-08. Number 6. KALX Kite Laguna Expressway CALAX, or the Kite Laguna Freeway, is a new freeway that connects Kite and Laguna. The highway's purpose is to relieve traffic congestion in the surrounding area. The highway will be 44.6 kilometers long and will have 10 interchanges. It has the capacity to transport up to 100,000 cars per day. The project is overseen by Cavitex Infrastructure Corporation, CIC. The CIC is in charge of building the expressway. Number 5. South Luzon Expressway Extension, SLEX. The South Luzon Expressway SLEX expansion is an extension of the South Luzon Expressway. The expansion will connect SLEX and CLAX. Two interchanges will be built as part of the 13.4-kilometer expansion. It will be able to transport up to 50,000 vehicles per day. The project is overseen by the Department of Public Works and Highways, DPE. The construction of the extension is overseen by the DP-08. Number 4. The Subic Bay Clark Tarlac Expressway connects the Subic Bay and Clark Freeport zones. The highway is expected to contribute to regional economic growth. The freeway is 93.7 kilometers long and has 13 interchanges. It has the capacity to transport up to 100,000 cars per day. The project is overseen by the Department of Public Works and Highways, DPE. The expressway's construction is overseen by the DP-08. Number 3. Bypass Road of Davao City The Davao City Bypass Road will be a new Davao City Bypass Road. The highway is expected to relieve city traffic congestion. The highway will be 18.3 kilometers long and will have four interchanges. It will be able to transport up to 50,000 vehicles per day. The project is overseen by the Department of Public Works and Highways DPDOTHE. The DPDOTAG is in charge of the road's construction. Number 2. The Pangle Bay Bridge is a new bridge that will span Pangle Bay. The bridge is expected to boost regional economic development. The bridge will be 5.4 kilometers long with a clearance of 50 meters. It will be able to transport up to 2,000 vehicles per hour. The Department of Public Works and Highways DPDOTAG is in charge of the project. The DPDOTAG is in charge of the bridge's construction. Number 1. Macton Cebu International Airport is a major international airport. The airport is currently undergoing significant expansion. A new passenger terminal, a new runway, and a new cargo terminal will be built as part of the expansion project. The estimated cost of the project is 17 billion Philippine pesos. The airport's capacity will be increased to 20 million passengers per year as a result of the expansion project. It is also expected to boost tourism in Cebu and the Visayas region. These projects are transforming the country, and they're sure to have a major impact on the economy and the lives of Filipinos. If you're interested in learning more about these projects or seeing how they're progressing, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.